what's poppin'? <laughs> this is Spicy Topic. So Riley, right? She read Cardi B and Star Brim like a bestseller nonfiction novel. Yeah, self-help book. Enough is enough. I mean, it's a lot of bloggers out here that is just not keeping it real. They're just out here entertaining you and they don't come with the real because they're not calling this out. And I'm here to call it out among the ones that are calling it out. I just want to get right into it. Um, did not get any permission, but because this is so hot and spicy, I am going to play what Ra had to say in response to the many, 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 various, various, various tries. She keeps trying, Ra Ali. Cardi B tried to jump into it. I mean, 2018 now, that's what, two years ago? Star Brim, you still on that whole Harper's fashion show thing that you can't let go. Your boy came to on site, okay, and did an interview and brought you up. You was not the topic of discussion until he made you the topic of a little. You wasn't even a topic of discussion, really. He actually called your name out and asked Riley if she had beef with Star Brim at the very tail end of the interview. I mean, she had already dismissed, did the, the whole, everybody have a good night, we had a great time, thank you Millie, everything, everything. And guess what? He asked, do you have beef with Star Brim? Because he had, he had motives. I don't know if you told him to ask, only you know that. I don't know if he just wanted to know if he was curious or not. You don't know, but she really was taken aback as well as everybody viewing, and that's how that got started. All right, so without further ado, let's get right to what Cardi B had to say. My friend Star wears the same amount of name brand clothes that these bees that love calling people bums be wearing. She don't ask me for S or leech off me. That's not a friendship. Star don't do stuff for me for expectations. I don't buy friends. That's why I barely have any. You can't be in your mid-30s calling people bums when you own no property and no businesses. Star is due in three weeks and got off social media to relax and not stress. And I still talking-ish about a bum. I think she meant you. You've been arrested for the same charge Star went to prison for and you actually pay less rent than her. What makes you more superior? People love antagonizing, then get called out and play innocent. This internet stuff is ridiculous. People do the most for a response. Sick of it. But Riley was really sick of it because here is what she had to say. I'm highlighting that this, as well as what I said last week to Star Brim, was a response. I haven't initiated or antagonized either of them. I've defended myself. And oh yes, I'm saying their names because when I'm speaking to somebody, I put an address and a stamp on it. Cardi trying to play the victim is crazy to me because she started this entire situation. You ran up and got mopped. But when Star came home, Convict. It had been a year since the situation even took place. But instead of her waiting until we cross paths like a real G, she does an interview and threatens me. Before she would have had that knot, I would have had that knot. Mm. Period. Like, and <laughs> even if I see Riley to this day, I'm going to smash Riley. Like, then she does it again. Talk I was about at style. that shit. I would have spanked Ra. If I see Ra right now, I still spank Ra. So it really don't matter. Like, that was the beginning of the bitch feeling froggy, but still did nothing. Knows exactly where I live, but still ain't come. This little girl is posting me on her page. No at, of course, simply because she's mad about on site. Now, initially I was going to ignore her. Okay. And so she brought other people into it loud and wrong. So I had to immediately shut her down. I'm not about to let shit like that live and circulate. Regardless of what we went through, I ain't never fold on them. Star wants to skim right past the fact that she's falsely accused Kimbella of cheating. Instead of being a woman, she just takes the post down. 
Why not have the same volume with your apology that you did with your false accusations? Now, as far as you, dummy, Cardi, I don't know why you would ever try to check me. You're mentally incapable of properly even comprehending more than half of my statement. I called Brim a bum because she is one. And with that, I'm not speaking to labels or materialistic things. I'm speaking to the quality of the individual, her intellect, character. You can't have much to live for if you come home on parole and instead of focusing up, you worrying about making threats on behalf of a bitch that been out here in the world. Had ample time to do something and didn't. You're a bum like I said and you're looking for a come up. Cardi, you're mentally incapacitated. So I'm going to spell this all out for you with a PowerPoint presentation. Okay? You are bothered by everything. Before you got on, the same black people that you're cursing out are the same ones that celebrated you and gave you the exposure that you needed. I didn't see you telling them then not to post you. See, Cardi tries to control the media. Here she is hanging out with bloggers, YouTubers, pretending to be their friend so that she can control the narrative of what they put out about her. But when that don't work, she threatens them like she did here to the shave room owner and several others. I don't know who the fuck you think you are, but you got the right one. They might be intimidated by you, but I'm not. You should have left me alone because I wasn't talking to you in the first place. Now, don't ever think you could mesh me in with your low life friend. Here's what I was doing before TV, before anyone knew me. Working hard and being the strong, black, ambitious woman that I am. Ain't never claimed to be perfect, but my charges were violence. This is Dum Dum and Bum Bum. I got fired. <laughs> Y'all heard that? I got fired. Now, I don't knock nobody's come up, but don't try me, ho. I got one in the chamber, 14 in the clip, and this was a warning shot. I will release receipts and destroy you, Cardi. Try me. So instead of writing me essays on Instagram, find yourself a pen and paper and write your own raps.